Do you like old? Do you like pepper? Do you like single barrel rye? We got all three of them right here by God. I'm like, gonna taste it for you and whatnot. I like single barrel rye, but I don't know about old peppers. Nah, this is this is pepper as in like pepper that you put pepper? on your macaroni and cheese by God. It's obvious the bottle is open. It did uh, crack it a little bit. You cracked it. We actually had some at the store. We bought, we picked this up from uh, Kumar at Wine Express. Go check them out. They're in Five Forks in the Greenville upstate area. I said it right. So yeah, we're gonna <laughs> give this the old college try. We've already tried it once. Jeez, that was a little difficult to get off by God. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what he said. <laughs> we're gonna pour some. You spilt? I spilled some, my bad. I ain't gonna pour a lot though because we have like 17 videos to film after this. You know what? I said I wasn't gonna pour a lot, but my god, did I pour me a lot. Eh, about well, the same. I'll wait for them to stop jiggling. <laughs> First impressions is she got some legs on. She got some legs. That is oily. I remember at the store, it tasted very nice. It did? Very nice. Now, is there like a mash bill on this? I think it's 95% rye. Well, your guess is as good as mine because I don't know how to read. <laughs> Didn't go the way Let's you see. thought it was gonna. <laughs> that did not go the way I thought it was gonna. <laughs> yeah, it's got uncut on filter. I don't know. We have to look up the mash bill on it, but guess what? We'll put it right here. We're gonna put the mash bill right here. Editor, right. put right, right there. There you go. That's for you guys. Oh, hey. <laughs> Wait, read. 100% rye. It's right here. Right there. Reading is fundamental. Right there. <laughs> Aged four years, distilled in Kentucky. It's uh, in barrel, uh, <laughs> number four char oak barrels. It is barrel proof and that's coming in at uh, 100 point, 101.8 or 50.9 ABV. Giddy up 101.8, dana dana. It does sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's giddy up what, four, one of, one of four point four point nine. What is it? What's the damn jingle? <laughs> Look it up now. Giddy up 104.9. 4. No, it's not, that doesn't work. Giddy What's the jingle? Looking it up? I don't know what jingle you're talking about. He's spelled giddy. <laughs> 409. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the spray yeah. stuff. Or the Beach Boys, never mind. Beach Boys, yeah. I was gonna say, it's a. <laughs> but it's a commercial. It's for disinfect. Hang on. 409 cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. they bought the Beach Boys song. The 90s commercials were the best, man. <laughs> Look at that CGI. <laughs> uh, mystery solved. It smells good, it smells like grass, it smells like whiskey. Uh, very much like a tea. I get like a slight toasty note. Yeah, a little bit of the oak, but I get a, a definitely this, this like tea leaf. Let's right. dink us our glasses. Dink me, daddy. <laughs> oh, you can tell that's a rye. Oh, it's so sweet. It is hella sweet. It's like a sweet tea. Like you took a, a black currant tea and made sweet tea out of it. A place up in Tennessee we used to go to in uh, Teleco Plains. Teleco Plains Cafe in Teleco Plains, Tennessee used to serve black currant sweet tea. And it was freaking phenomenal. And this takes me back 20 some years to that tea. Hey, <clears throat> Ryan, do me a favor. Next time you have a thought, think to yourself, will the editor AJ cut this out and it will never make it into the final cut? Probably so. Okay. Good. <laughs> Tell that story again. Oh, I okay. smell and taste whiskey. Whiskey. <laughs> the like sweet tea is like super sweet, fruity, a little bit of that spearmint, herbal notes, um, just a really nice, this is a phenomenal rye. The throat coat is good. The throat coat's good. It's, 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 it's hanging, it's, it's, it's hanging along. Yeah, it's, it's got a great mouthfeel to it. Oily, deliciousness. That's I'm delicious. liking me some old pepper. All right, let's do a comparison. So we have two ryes that we hold in high regard. We have Contradiction Rye and we have Sagamore Double Oak Rye. Okay. Um, kind of where does this stand between those, those two or within those three? Um, I would say the Contradiction Rye is, it's not at the same level of this because it's, actually that may be similar proof, but it doesn't have the mouthfeel that this has. Yeah. The finish on this is great. So as much as I love Contradiction, I would I would put this above Contradiction Rye. Yeah. I, I'd have to go head to head against the Double Oak because that Sagamore Spirits Double Oak is so, so That's good. That Sagamore good. So good. But this is right up there with it. I would, I'd say this is right up there with Sagamore Double yeah. Oak. You know what I like about this bottle too? is it's got a really thick bottom piece. Like, look at that. I can't even see through that. There's no way I can see through that. That's a thick ass glass by God. Them thick bottoms. I like those thick 
bottom bottles. I like them thick too. Yes, sir. Ah! Oh, you bit my whole wrist back. I need this wrist, man. Hey, by the way, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button and notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week. Guys, if you want to see more of us and behind the scenes content and all that good if jazz. you want to see all the screw-ups he just made. I made a ton of screw-ups, yes. Uh, check us all on Patreon in the description below.